Disclaimer, this episode takes place after Thomas and the Painter. So if you're confused about how the episode is shown, that's why. And also, this video contains inappropriate words and languages. So if you're 13 or younger, do not watch this video. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy. After Thomas's accident, uh, Thomas had to go to the works, but Thomas was worried. Are you guys sure you can handle this by yourself? Don't worry, Thomas. We can handle it. Are you sure? It's going to be very hard without me doing the passenger train. Don't worry, Thomas. Everything be a-okay. Oh, well. If you guys that confident, then I'll let you. Soon, Timothy came to couple up to Thomas. Okay, Thomas. Let's take you to the works. Thomas Percy watched as Thomas was sent to the works. Without Thomas, Percy had to do Thomas's passengers while Toby take care of the trucks. They had a great time. And the engine style wasn't that hard. With the way how we're doing, Toby, we may not even need Thomas. That's so, Percy, but maybe tomorrow it might be get harder. And Toby was right. The next day, the driver came to see Percy very early. Get up, Percy. It's time to get to work. <sighs> Is it a bit too early for it? Sorry, Percy, but um, because you had to do Thomas's passengers, you had to do some of your jobs, too. So you had to wake up early to get any and Clarabelle and your truck. Percy was surprised. What? Uh, why? Can Toby do it? No, Percy. You are first. Bother, said Percy. No wonder why Thomas wished us good luck. And the driver was right. Percy had to do his jobs. And had to do the passengers as well. Soon the trains were late. And the guests and the passengers complained. At the end of the day, Percy and Toby were tired. Oh, oh my god. I've been rushed down on my wheels after this. Oh, I know. I knew that Thomas was right. It's gonna be very hard. It's gonna be very long days without him, said Percy. The next day, Percy was going to, to the station where Henry was waiting. You're late. I know, I know, Henry. So what's your excuse for being late? Hey, Henry, without Thomas, we need to do twice the work while it's our own. It's very hard. Ha! You engines always complain about being hard work. We and bigger engines do the hard work and we never complain unlike you engines. Percy was too tired to complain. If you can't run a branch line, then we must tear up the rails and give the jobs to the bus. At least they won't be late. Percy couldn't believe what he just heard. That evening, Percy told Toby what Henry had said. That asshole, and he had the cheek to say that I was being late and saying that the branch line should be closed and give it to a lorry. Well then, we just he doesn't understand how hard it is for us. I know! I swear, I could just like beat the fuck out of him. Tell me, are you listening? Oh no, I wasn't paying attention. What?! Sorry, Percy, I was just not listening. It's like that commercial I was watching back then about cats. But I guess there's no reasoning with madness. Or cats, for that matter. Seriously, try talking sense into a cat. They just stare at you with their lifeless, patronizing eyeballs for like a couple of seconds, and then they just walk away. And then you're like, don't turn your back on me. And they're like, nah. And then you're all like, <laughs> and then they're all like, nah. But it is what it is, I guess. If I was you, Percy, just ignore them. Percy wasn't listening to Toby, though. He was wondering how he could get back at Henry. Percy was heading towards the station the next day, when suddenly he noticed James was there, and he wasn't pleased. 
God damn it. Listen, Percy, I'm a guaranteed connection. I shall not be waiting for little engines like you. Oh, come, come the fuck down, James. I've been working very hard lately. Besides, I had to go a little slow on the branch line, too. Ha! You going slow makes me late. It's not my fault. There are tight curves. So what? That's your excuse? Tight curves? Ha! <laughs> Pathetic, I say. Why don't you stop being a scaredy engine once in your life and just go a little bit faster? Percy decided he had enough. Percy was going down the line with Annie and Clarabelle. Stupid James, stupid Henry, they don't understand. I'll go fast wherever I want, and I won't be late this time. Percy had let James and Henry get into his head. Percy started to pick up speed. I say, Percy, slow down, we're not having a race. Shut up, you old heck, you don't tell me what to do. Percy, slow down! Oh, oh no! Percy tried to stop, but the coaches pushed him forward. Oh, shit! <laughs> no one was hurt. The coupling to Percy and Annie and Clevo snapped. But sadly, Percy was stranded. Oh, fuck me. Percy was rescued, but the fat controller wasn't pleased with him one bit. Percy, you fucking asshole! You sure know better to go down the line with tragic speed like that, you fucking prick! Yes, sir. I know, sir. I am sorry, sir. Yeah, you better be. You're lucky that Thomas is done being at the works and he's coming home tomorrow. Wait, really? He is? Yes, Percy, that is right. I hope you heard learn your lesson for going too fast. Yes, sir. I am, sir. I am very sorry, sir. And the fat controller went to his office. So, Percy, I see you didn't listen to me. <sighs> I'm sorry, Toby, for not listening to you. Will you forgive me? Of course I would. I'm Toby. Oh, good. The next day, Thomas came back from the works. The two said goodbye as Percy was sent to the works. Well, Thomas, it's good to have you back. I know. Oh, well. Come on, Toby. Let's get to work. We got to keep that branch on going, you know. Yep, you're right. Man, what a crazy day this was. I wonder what's going to happen next time on this episode. Oh, well. We'll find out soon enough. And they lived happily after... Even if you had MC Hammer and them 357 bitches Biggie Smalls, a millionaire, the mansion, the yacht The two weed spots, the two hot blocks huh, That's how I got the weed spot I shot Fred